Hi, my name is Amir Ishaq and uh, I've prepared this video to demonstrate and show you how to install and configure IIS Node on Windows 2012 server. So basically you have uh, a Node application and you'd like to host it in IIS on Windows. How do you do that? So this video is going to help you <coughs> figure out and configure your IIS with IIS node to be able to host your node application. As the name suggests, hosting Node.js applications in IIS on Windows. Okay, so without uh, wasting any time, let's go ahead and start the configuration. So we have a fresh install of uh, Windows Server. Open up uh, Server Manager and then we add some features. One of which is the web sockets that we have to enable. will be under application development also you'd have to enable asp.net So let's go open uh, IIS Manager and test that our application or IIS is working by opening the default website. And yes, it is opening. Given that WebRTC only runs over HTTPS, let's head over to Let's Encrypt and apply for a certificate. Scroll down to Windows and um, I selected Certify the Web and download the installer. You will need to provide your email address to register. Click on new certificate. Under select website, go ahead and select your default website and add your domain name. It's failing because I have not added an entry, an A record. 
that I shall use to bind uh, to the IP address of this machine, the public IP address of this machine. So I have to do that first. Let's ping our domain and make sure that it has been propagated and it returns an IP address uh, to this machine. And it does. Configuration test has passed. So let's go ahead and request the certificate. So we now have our website hosted on port 80 as well as 443. The binding was done automatically. Let's do a quick test to our website. Let us now download and install Node.js. Let's also download Visual Studio Code and install it. Let us now install IIS node. Looking at the prerequisites, uh, we notice that we've already added uh, web sockets in the features. Um, then we just have to install URL rewrite module for IIS. Um, and of course, we've also installed Node.js. Next is uh, IIS node installation, so let's go ahead and do it. IIS node is now successfully installed. Let's follow the instruction where it says um, to set up samples, 
from the administrative command prompt call setup samples.bat. Let's just do that. Notice not IIS nodes uh, samples application has been added to the default website. Let's now install JIT um, so that uh, we can be able to clone one of the uh, projects that we've done in the previous videos. Let's create a new folder called data and that's where we're going to clone our project into. Go ahead and clone part three of the series. npm install npm run build let's run our server The server is running now. Let's test our web uh, application. Seems to be working. That's good. Let's add this application as um, an IIS application.
According to IIS Node documentation, web.config file is required at the root of the application. So this is the configuration file. Um, include handlers. More details are available uh, on the website on how to configure part of the for our case. This is all we need. Um, this piece of code here uh, as the comment indicates uh, up there indicates that the server.js are Node.js uh, applications and uh, they are to be handled by the IIS Node module. And, uh, this is serving the uh, static content like uh, HTML files, images and so forth. And down here is uh, to serve dynamic content configuration and we have um, as not um, enabling logging just in case we want to trap any exceptions um, and we have to if you're going to use web sockets you want to use um, the node socket IO so we disable IIS web sockets. Yeah. Make sure you change the port from port 880 to process.env.port. Any console.log will be logged into these text files. Notice here we have two peers connected. That's the socket IO IDs. Let's test uh, our application from another computer. Let's add another one, second one. Go ahead and offer. And answer. And the two peers are successfully connected. And you can find all the comments, logs in the text files within the IIS node folder. I hope this video was beneficial and helpful and thank you very much for being patient with me see you next time